Hello YouTube, Proxy here and today we have more news for Dark and Light. This week we had a Halloween special Q&A about DNL with Snail's employee on the community discord. I will post a link below so you can read through the entire thing if you wish to, however I will mention a couple of those things during this video. The first and most important thing that I'm going to talk about is the minimum system requirements you will need to run Dark and Light. You will at least need to have a copy of Windows 7 64-bit or greater a 2 GHz dual core 64 bit processor, 4 GB of RAM, a DirectX 10 compatible GPU with around 1 GB of VRAM, and you will need at least 40 GB of hard drive space free. So it looks like you will need a pretty decent PC to run this game well, which may be bad news for some, and might have to invest some money if you wish to play this game on the highest possible settings. Moving on, players respawning will work as follows according to Snail. Players will be able to choose from a number of different respawn points, including personal respawn and home points that you can set yourself using specific items or furniture like many current survival games do. Now you will notice this is very similar to how respawning works in Ark Survival Evolved, and the more features I hear about Dark and Light, it really does sound like to me that Ark inspired many features for Dark and Light. Now if any of you have played Ark, the next two features will definitely seem familiar. Just like there is an Ark, there will be underground caverns that players can explore and also build in. And Snail also told us that Dark and Light will have a thriving ecosystem underwater as well as resources that can only be acquired from the ocean depths. Your character's stat development also once again resembles Ark in the fact you can upgrade health, carry weight, stamina and various resistances. However, it will be different in the way that you'll also have a skill system as well to complement this. Dark and Light is really starting to sound like a survival MMO some gamers have been waiting for, but only time will tell if that will meet our hopes and expectations of what a sandbox survival game should be like. And still so many questions remain unanswered, but hopefully some more of those will be answered over the next few weeks. If you wish to read more details of the Halloween Q&A, or older Q&As for that matter, then you can either catch up with them on the Dark and Light Reddit, the Community Discord, or the unofficial website. I will provide links to all of those below. Oh, and before I forget, speaking of websites, Snail has announced the official forums and the website will all be up and running soon, so don't forget to sign up on that when it's ready. I hope you all enjoyed this update and thanks for watching.